This is just sort of the first stage of, of our exploration of the galaxy. Next figure. Here is our next step. This is going to be the step after Kepler. And basically, when we look at a, a planet that we have found with this new this trust our planet finder or something equivalent, what you see, what you see is here is the color of light, the wavelength of light. And this is in the infrared. And above, we have how bright it is. So if you had this nice, smooth curve, it would tell you you're looking at a hot rock. Not interesting. But if you had a curve, like the blue curve, it says, look at the gap here. That gap is caused by water in that atmosphere. This gap is caused by ozone. Ozone is associated with oxygen. That gap is by CO2. And now you're beginning to look at the composition of the atmosphere. You could say, you know, if it's got oxygen, that's a very, very interesting atmosphere. We don't know how to make oxygen without life. So this might be a planet that would be something our grandchildren might want to look at. Send a probe there and see what's going on. Last figure, please. So basically, in three years, we determine the frequency of Earth-sized planets. We find out whether Earths are common in our galaxy. Light may be common in that case. And what we do is we get the information that we need to build this next mission. There's several ways to build a mission that we look at the atmosphere. One way is expensive, the coronagraph. Uh, and if there are lots of planets, you can build a coronagraph to go look at them and get this measurement. The other missions that are being expensive is extremely expensive. And that is a much bigger 